the crisis that we're living today really lays bare the fruits of privatized medicine and a whole medicine system. Coronavirus vaccine. The vaccine. The vaccine. Innovative vaccine technology. Then when are we going to get the vaccine? We're going to be able to make that drug available almost immediately. Big conglomerates that are saying, well, do we invest in making a vaccine or do we invest in making the next Viagra, right? So vaccines are competing against other medications and they keep losing out. Private sector finance and private pharma is really interested in drugs that you can use to treat chronic conditions, something like a heart condition, where you can take the drug over and over and over again for the rest of your life. But preventing disease isn't actually their business model. Vaccine development is an expensive, long, and risky process, and that's precisely why it lends itself to the kind of patient capital that a, the public sector can put up and why it's not such a great bet for the private sector and venture capital, which is so set on really immediate short-term returns. Despite the fact that the, the public sector already makes an enormous investment here, the U.S. National Institutes of Health has put up $700 million alone. We're asking the private sector to take things over the finish line and it's just not happening in terms of certain vaccines, antibiotics, drugs for neglected tropical diseases, things that aren't money makers. So if the public is putting all of this money up at the front end, um, why don't we own it? Well, that's kind of the question that a lot of us are wrestling with. It was in 1980 with the passage of the Bayh-Dole Act that it became legal to patent and to have exclusivities on and have you know full monopoly rights over um, inventions that were funded by public sources. So before that, it would have been really hard to get to the point that we're at now, where the NIH pays for a lot of the medicine, the science behind the development of new medicines, but then private actors are able to charge whatever they want and say, we own this. Mm -hmm. So really, we're, we're in a situation now where we've got socialized risk and privatized benefit. People say, but it requires the profit motive for innovation to happen. Are you saying that's not true? Well, I mean, the, the famous quote always comes from Jonas Salk, who uh, developed the polio vaccine, right? Say, who owns the vaccine? Well, the, the people, right? This is, this is our patrimony as humanity. All of scientific development really depends on collective knowledge to begin with. We're running to catch up with the problems of a broken system now, rather than saying, how do we assure on the front end that what is largely paid for by the public is then available to everyone in the public? For all coronavirus related vaccines or treatments, we have to make sure that the intellectual property is open, that everybody has access, that the medication can be free.